Hello and welcome to a new topic that is Roman Jacobson's model of the functions of language. Before we go deep into the topic, let's first talk about what is communication because communication forms the part of the functions of language. The word communication comes from the Latin word communicare which means to share or to be in relation with. This makes sense because sharing and to be in relation with someone form the basis of communication we have some more ideas about communication normally to participate in the communication process we need at least one person to share information we also need one more person to receive that information so what we get is that at least for communication to be successful we need two persons to impart the information and to receive the information keeping in view let's now talk about what roman jacobson has ideas about the functions of language but before i start let's have a brief introduction about who roman jacobson is he's a famous russian american linguist he looks at what needs to be present in the process of linguistic communication beyond the simple relationship of sending and receiving information we have some more ideas about this man roman jacobson he introduced a well known theoretical model of the functions of language the model distinguishes six elements or factors of communication which are necessary for communication to occur which are necessary for communication to happen or to take place or for communication to be successful without which communication in fact cannot happen at all cannot exist at all so these six factors are very very important what are they let's talk about each one of them through this diagram for any communication to be successful first we need the addresser and who is the addresser he is the sender he may be the speaker he may be the writer who writes the poem who writes a book he may be the speaker who delivers the speech so what does it mean is that we must have an addresser addresser refers to sender and sender may be anyone may be a normal person may be a teacher may be a doctor may be a writer may be a poet any one of us who can be referred to as sender or the addresser so the sender the addresser sends a message content idea opinion your reflection of thought that is the second point to the whom to the addressee to the receiver to the listener to the reader to the audience that audience may be an individual person may be a large group of people whosoever they are can be referred to as addressee that is to say receiver and we continue to be operative the message requires a what context situation without context no communication can take place without situation no communication can take place without background without any reason there must be a reason for any communication to take place if i am at the moment talking to you it means i have the context and what is the context at the moment my context my background my reason is that i would like to tell you about roman jacobson's model of the functions of language this is the context here at the moment and this is making me speak to you talk to you explain to you so for any communication to be successful after we have the addresser sends the message to the addressee we must have the context we must have the situation if we don't have we cannot make any communication happen referred to a code common to the addresser and the addressee so we need a code here what does it mean code code refers to language there must be a common code between the addresser and the addressee that is to say there must be common language must be shared by the addresser and the addressee for example at the moment my code is english language it is in this code i am speaking so the english language at the moment is our common code that develops communication between you and me so we code here refers to the language two persons must share the same language must share the same code that code that language may be english may be arabic may be chinese may be korean may be french uh, whatever that language is but the point is that if code if the language is not common to the addresser sender and to the addressee receiver then communication cannot take place for example if i know english and i speak to you and unfortunately the other person he does not know english and i speak can the communication take place no it cannot 
इम्पॉसिबल सो हियर वी मस्ट हैव द कॉमन कोच बिटवीन द एड्रेसर एंड द एड्रेसी थ्रू विच वी कैन एक्सचेंज आइडियाज एंड फाइनली द सिक्स पॉइंट इज कॉन्टैक्ट अ फिजिकल चैनल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन एड्रेसर एंड एड्रेसी हियर वी हैव टू पॉइंट कॉन्टैक्ट मीन्स फिजिकल चैनल समटाइम्स आई मे टॉक टू यू सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दैट इज आवर फिजिकल चैनल फिजिकल कनेक्शन Sometimes we are having tea and we are talking. So that uh, having tea and talking in front of each other, that is our physical channel. The channel way of contacting or the mode of contact could be many. For example, I may call my friend and talk. So the mobile may be a channel. Not only the channel that is important, but also the psychological connection. For example, I am talking to you, and psychologically you are not. present you are not attentive to what i am speaking then uh, sometimes you are lost somewhere can the communication take place can that communication be successful i keep on speaking and psychologically you are lost elsewhere so there is no psychological connection between what i am speaking and what you are receiving so the communication cannot take place so sixth point is that we need a physical channel either talking together sitting in front of each other or maybe through any more through any physical contact maybe radio maybe television maybe mobile through which you can communicate to your friend to the audience and at the same time you must have psychological connection because if you don't have the psychological connection and uh, between the addresser and the addressee the communication cannot take place so these are six most important factors elements uh, in the functions of language or for any communication to be successful or to take place and i think this is very scientific analysis of the functions of language or how communication takes place or how communication should be successful hope you understand the concept thank you and goodbye